Hey guys, Casper here from The Geek Home. Welcome to my new weekly or bi-weekly series called Anime Chats. So basically this is just going to be a sit down with me and I'm just going to sit and chat to you about some of the anime I've watched the last week or two. Um, so I watch quite a lot of anime, um, Crunchyroll subscription and um, yeah, I watch anime in other ways also. Um, so I watch too much anime probably. Um, and um, I enjoy anime quite a lot um, so I just want to give you guys an idea I've done some reviews before but I think this is a little bit of a better format for me to just discuss uh, anime that I like in general um, so every week or two I'll just sit down and chat with, about some shows I just uh, just watched recently um, and then also maybe some shows that are coming up or whatever I want to actually watch. Um, so yeah, I am not going to be talking about Solo Leveling because I haven't watched it yet. I know a lot of people have been watching that. I know uh, it's been a big hype thing recently, but uh, I haven't gone around to it yet. If you don't know, Solo Leveling is a um, anime on Crunchyroll based off a manhwa, which is a Korean manga perfectly the word for like a Korean type manga it's not like a webtoon stuff um Tower of God for example is sort of the same thing um I haven't gone around yet watching it yet it looks interesting um I'm not the biggest fan of the sort of online gaming type anime stuff but I will get around to watching it, it looks interesting um I also haven't watched Freewin yet um it is now the number one rated anime I think it is it, the Metal Alchemist Brotherhood hasn't come back for the whole campaign to get it back on top again. But um, it is the number one rated anime. I haven't watched it yet, just basically because I'm waiting for it just to be a little bit further along in its run. Um, it's one of those shows which I probably want to sort of binge in a little way. I'm not a big binging type of watcher, but I uh, certain shows I find are better to watch that way. And Freedom seems like one of those shows because it seems to start off quite slow. and take more time with its stuff so yeah generally it's better to watch it that way I enjoyed watching it more that way um, but yeah so what I have watched in the last week is a little bit of a more of an unknown show uh, it's called well, I don't know how unknown it is but I haven't learned anybody talking about it uh, it's called uh, Crown Prince's Guide to Raising His Nation Out of Debt um, I just randomly clicked on this on Crunchyroll I think it was might have been one of my recommends um, and it surprised me by being really good. Um, I, it's a, quite a light-hearted anime. It's not an. It sort of has a lot of similarities to an isekai, but it's not an isekai, which I find beneficial because I think there's way too many isekais. Um, but yeah, it sort of has similarities to that. It's basically about this prince uh, whose father falls ill, and then he needs to take charge of the kingdom and. Uh, run the kingdom now and he's really intelligent but he also doesn't really want to be in charge and um, so he's sort of trying to figure out a way to sell off his kingdom uh, for as much money as possible in a way he's not a bad guy or anything but he just doesn't want all that responsibility um, but he also coincidentally ends up doing really good moves making his the kingdom stronger and stronger and stronger and more powerful um, so it's actually really interesting, it has uh, battles in it, it's not really like magic based or anything. Um, so it doesn't have any, any like intense sort of battling systems between characters or anything, but it's more like a political anime. But it's not a heavy political anime. Um, it doesn't like get into heavy, it's, 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 it's a bit more on the light side, the characters are fun, the, 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 the it's not like a, a, a depressing type anime, like um, something like Attack on Titan or anything like that. Uh, but I really enjoyed watching it. I think I started watching it on like Friday or Saturday and I finished watching all 12 episodes quite quickly. Um, and it came out in 2023 and hopefully we will be getting another season of it. Who knows? I haven't actually checked. Maybe, hopefully there will be. I really hope so because I really enjoyed it and I think it has a lot of, uh, it has a lot of potential. Um, going ahead, uh, so yeah, check that out. Pr Crown Prince's, um, uh, the Crown Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. Yeah, pretty cool. Good characters, interesting stuff that happens. An interesting story. Um, so, what else have I watched the last week? 
I've watched a bit of more of Overlord. I'm still having a really hard time getting into Overlord. I know it's I, a lot of people say it's really good, uh, especially first season stuff. But I don't know. I've really had a hard time getting into it. It's it's not nearly my type of anime. I'm not a big fan, like I said, of those type of online gaming type animes. Um, for sort of online was fine, but after that I was kind of like whatever. Um, and it's very much like it's just it's a guy style animated for me anyway. Um, so um, I'm having a bit of a struggle really getting into that. Uh, I have a lot of stuff I still need to finish watching. I think I'll really start watching. I have to start season two of Spy Family. I haven't watched any Jujutsu Kaisen. I need to actually start season one. Um, I still have to finish watching Re Zero season two, which is a, just a very big drudge. Unfortunately, due to the drop off, well, quality at the end of the day from season one to two, um, it's just way too slow. Unfortunately, um, I really hope season three, which is apparently on the way, is going to pick pick up a lot. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of stuff we're looking forward to this year. I'm guessing uh, I haven't really taken a big look at what is coming out, to be honest with you, in the next while. I know uh, Mushiko Tenzo is on the way, and no more Tower of God is on the way, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so yeah, I hope those things come out in the scheduled times they are supposed to come out. Um, just a note, I did watch Crown, uh, the Crown Prince's plan guide to getting Nation out of debt. I did watch that as a dub. I don't have any preference specifically between the two. Um, if a dub is available, it's good quality, I will watch it as a dub. I'm not like a elitist or a true incredible weeb or anything like that. Um, so I don't mind dubs as long as they're good quality and I can just sit and relax and watch the show. Um, so yeah, um, highly recommend watching that show. Looking forward to stuff coming out. Um, as always, um, if you don't have a Crunchyroll subscription, you should probably get one. I'm not sure for Crunchyroll, but it's the only subscription service that I actually pay money for that I care about, <laughs> ironically enough. Um, yeah, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, that's pretty much the anime that I watched this week. I highly recommend that one. Go and check it out. And if you um, have any recommendations for me to watch, put them down in the comments. Um, hopefully, this will be like a weekly, bi weekly thing where I just sit down, chat about some anime I've watched. Probably more bi weekly. Um, so you can only watch that much new stuff all the time. I um, might just start discussing more episodes, uh, like specifically whatever chat I sort of do. It's not going to be specifically just review based. I might tell you about some anime that annoyed me, or that I would say avoid completely, um, or stuff that I didn't find that interesting. We'll just have some chats about it. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. And yeah, so check out our store also with the Geek Home in Pretoria. The tabletop gaming store, we have an online store, geekhome.ca.ca, we sell all kinds of tabletop gaming stuff like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, board games and stuff, Warhammer, all kinds of stuff like that, so check us out online. Um, and I will then see you guys in the next video, please like and subscribe, and yeah, see you next time, have some uh, happy anime watching, cheers.